Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be importing pictures or videos from your GoPro into your computer. So we're going to do it the most simple way first. So first of all, let's look for the GoPro program, which you should have installed on your computer already. On the top right hand side of your computer, you're going to see the spotlight search. So just click right there. And from there, just type in GoPro. And this is the program right here, GoPro Quick. So let's just open it up. Once you open it up and your camera is not turned on, it shouldn't show you anything. So at this point in time, what I suggest doing is turning on your camera. So it's not enough that you just plug it into your computer, but you do have to turn on your camera. Now there are several ways to import your pictures. This is just one of them. I'm going to show you a few other ways. So right now I turned it on. If you're still having problems, by the way, and it's not hooking up for any reason and you have a USB hub, the hub might be the problem. Just hook it up directly onto your computer. So right now what I can do is just press import files, which is in the middle of my screen. So I'm just going to click right here in the middle of my screen it says import files. And if you do that and you get this type of message, files not imported, that's okay. We just have to set an import location in settings. So just click on got it. So that's actually very easy to do on the top right hand corner of your screen. You will see this icon that looks like a gear icon. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and you guys see this gear icon. That's your settings. So just click on those settings. And from there, we're going to set up our import location. So it's our very first option up here. So on the right hand side, just click right there. Once you click there, you can set it up to be anywhere. It can be under your documents, desktop, anywhere. For now, I'm just going to set up my desktop because that's the easiest way. And I'm just going to not even make a folder in this case. I don't have that many videos. I'm just going to put open. So at this point in time, I'm pretty much set up. I can click on the top left hand side of my screen. It's going to say back to media. So let's just click there. And finally, we're going to get to import all these pictures. So let's just click on our hero on the left hand side. This is a hero three plus. It's going to be the same thing with whichever you guys have. Obviously, there's several ways to do in this. And we're just going to go import files. So let's just click on import files. And right now we should see this. So there we go. Import complete. And there's no files right now to import because it has imported. So right now we can go into our desktop and take a look at them. So right now in my desktop on the right hand side, I can see there's a folder that has been created by GoPro and I can click right there inside that folder. There should be another folder called hero three plus or whichever hero edition you guys have. Just click right there. And here we go. Here are all the videos and pictures that you guys have taken. Right now, you guys can drag them to USB stick, play them, do anything with the videos that you like. So I did mention I was going to teach you other ways to import. There's one more way. Well, there's two more ways. There's the one that where you take out the SD card, put it into an adapter, plug it into your computer. And there you go. You can just open up the files from in there, copy over the whole entire folder onto your computer or you guys can also use Photos app, which is on Mac. If you guys are on Mac, you will have Photos app. Just launch it up. Doesn't always work, by the way. And on the left hand side, we're going to see devices and you should see your GoPro right here. Just click on it and import your pictures from there. Like I mentioned before, if nothing's working, just take out the SD card adapter, put into your Mac, and then you're going to go into Finder, which is right here and then just open up like an SD card. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.